Because having faith in God is what's going to see us through. Having faith in God. I've got to help you to be at a place, and myself, because I'm included, to be at a place as to where whatever comes, I'm able to stand. I'm able to stand. So I've gone from winning in life to now having faith in God. Having faith in God. Winning in life. Now I'm on this series, Have Faith in God. I'm going to take the word faith, letter by letter, and show some things that God is. The letter, the first letter of the word faith is the L. The thing that God said to me in the hustle and bustle of trying to get in the building, the F is God is faithful. God is faithful. What is faithful? Full of faith. So how is God faithful? God was faithful in the context of two different ways. God was faithful in the context of he did not quit believing. He believed in his creation, although his creation messed up. Somebody ought to tell God, thank you for that. Oh, God, y'all are so dry with that. You must think you deserve what you did. He should have did it for you. You think you are privileged? I said he was faithful in the context of his creation messed up. But he was faithful to keep believing. Because had not God believed in us, uh oh, had not God believed in us, there wouldn't have been a plan of redemption, uh oh. Had not God believed in me, in spite of me, there would not have been a plan of redemption. God knew that he was going to have to redeem me. And a plan of redemption was put in place at the fall. The plan of redemption. You didn't hear that. At the fall. Y'all, 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 okay, okay, y'all, y'all in that. I'm going home with Jesus. I don't tell you, I love the Lord. <laughs> he put a plan of redemption in place at the fall. Yes, God. Thank you, Lord. Uh, see, I wish y'all heard that. Thank at you, the fall. So at the very point of me messing up, he put a plan of redemption for me to get up. Ah, oh, sh- God. At the very place of me messing up, a plan of redemption came. How you know, Pastor Lee? I'll tell you how I know. Genesis chapter 3, when he showed up at the time of the fall and began to communicate to them, said, Adam, where art thou? Front and center, homeboy. Adam comes in there. He has to start pronouncing a curse right at the moment of the fall. But in the fall, this is what he says. He tells the woman, he says, listen, there is going to be the division enmity that is going to be put between you and the serpent. And you are literally going to crush his head, but he's going to bruise your heel redemption. I'm going to give you the opportunity to now stand on top of what literally was on top of you. So the plan of redemption. I'm going to give you the opportunity. Oh, shoot. I'm going to give you the opportunity to walk on what was literally deceiving you. Huh? And so can I say this right here for anybody that feels like they're caught up in a situation and don't know how they're going to get out of it. There's a plan of redemption, baby. There's a plan of redemption. I promise you there is a plan of redemption. 
I can assure you that there is a plan of redemption. Mm -hmm. Now listen, in the redemption, there was some pain that had to come with being redeemed because hard-headedness will get you some pain. You hear me? Hard-headedness will cause some chastisement to take place. So there was some pain now that she had to deal with. He said, in your birthing, you gonna hurt. Amen. And when we have children, we hurt. He says, in your birthing, in your giving of birth, you gonna hurt. Amen. That's the pain. That's the pain. Amen. He said, but what you bring into this world, I wish somebody heard the Holy Spirit today. And he said, but what you bring into this world is going to have the ability, that's why y'all ought to believe for your children, <laughs> Because what you bring into this world is going to have the ability of oh, Jesus Christ. It is going to literally crush the head of what tried to take you out. Now see y'all, y'all man. That's, see, that's the reason why you cannot let generational curses keep going, y'all. See man, y'all don't get it, do you? That's why you cannot let generational curses continue. Because if you let generational curses continue, what you're saying is, is that the redemption ain't real. Because he said to her, what you birth is going to crush his head. It's only going to bruise him. So that's the reason why every generation should be getting better and better. But we're failing. We're failing. We're failing. So God is faithful. He has a plan of redemption. Deuteronomy 7. Deuteronomy 7. Verse 8. Forget 8 and 9. Deuteronomy 7, verse 8 and 9. It says, But because the Lord loved you, yeah, and because he would keep the oath which he sworn unto your fathers, look at that, had the Lord brought you out with a mighty hand and redeemed you out of the house of bondage or bondmen. From the hand of Pharaoh, king of Egypt. Can somebody say, God is bringing me out? Period. Food. Verse 9. Know therefore that the Lord thy God, he is who? And the next part says what? All right then. Told you he's faithful. Which keep it. Which means continuously, because the ETH is there. He continuously keepeth his covenant and mercy with them that what? Love him. And do what? Keep his commandments. To what? All right then. We failing. Each generation should be getting better. You ain't got no business looking at your children. Do stuff you ain't do. It should be better. But we're failing. But God is faithful. God is faithful. All right? Second Timothy 2. Second Timothy 2. God is faithful. Second Timothy 2. Second Timothy two and verse thirteen. God, I love you. Second Timothy two and verse thirteen. Y'all ready? It says, If we believe not, yet he abideth what? 
Because he cannot what? Okay, y'all need to catch that one again. Y'all need to get that one in your spirit. That don't need to just get in your head. You need to get that one down in your spirit. Let's go with it again. It says, if we believe not, who is we? Us. If we do what? You see that right there? It says we be in a condition sometimes where we just don't. But if we believe not, so even when I'm not a believer, yet he would. He ain't going nowhere. He ain't going nowhere. He's faithful. Because he cannot. The man cannot deny himself. The man cannot deny himself. So if he said it, he's faithful to do it. He cannot deny himself. So if he's God that has the victory, he's not going to show up and say, well, I ain't got victory. I don't know if I can get victory. He's going to show up and say, I'm God with victory. I can't deny myself. I can't deny myself. I'm God when the lightning flashes. I'm God when the thunder rolls. I'm God way up in heaven. And I'm God down in their feet and soul. I can't deny myself. I can't. That's the reason why when people be saved and they be trying to live in the world or so, they don't look right. It don't really work right. Because they, they literally, he says, I can't deny myself. That's the L for faithful. Let's go to the A. The word faith. So God is faithful. The letter A, God has ability. Ability. Ephesians 3. God has ability. He's not only faithful, but you got to know that he has ability. Because if you know that he has ability, guess what? You'll let him do it. You'll let him do it. Okay, so if your car tears up, whatever mechanic you take it to, you taking it there because what? They got, the they got the ability. So God has ability. That's what I love. Ephesians 3. Ephesians 3 and verse 20. Ephesians 3 and 20 says, Now unto him that is what? What it say? Uh-uh. It says, Now unto him that is what? Able. Now unto him that is what? Able. Again, now unto him that is what? Able. He has the ability, y'all. So there is no situation or circumstance that you could be in that God does not have the ability to see us through. So when you know that God has ability, regardless of what you face, you're going to continue to keep looking to God. Why? Because he has the ability. ability. But if you don't know that God has ability, then you're going to lie in question. And when you lie in question, that means that you will begin to look to look other places. You will begin to seek elsewhere. Anywhere that you're not in question of or you're not assured of, you're going to keep searching until you come to a place of assurity. And when you come to a place of assurity, that's when we tend to make a decision to say, yeah, that's the one right there. I'm sure I'm certain about that one right there. I'm sure. But if you know that God is able, then you don't have to look any further. Faith. Faith. So his ability. It says, now unto him that is able to do. Look at the word. Look at the words, y'all. It says to do. So that means when we need something done, he can do what? Get it done, baby. 
It says now unto